All right, guys, so I'm gonna skip straight to the point. You guys know that this job should be relatively easy. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do these steps. So all you really need is a socket and wrench set or impact gun to pull off your wheel. You need a plastic panel removing tool, just to make your job easier. You can use a flathead screwdriver. And then you need a set of Torx bit. I think it's like a T8 to T10, because uh, you're gonna need it to remove the fender liner. Um, and then you're basically gonna pop the fender liner off, move the wiring harness, and you're done. So let's go ahead, let's roll some of the clips. Let me show you guys exactly in detail how we got there, and then the end result. Stay tuned. All right, now that that's off, all we have to do is pull off this wheel, and right behind it's gonna be the fender liner. We're gonna pull that back, move the wiring harness, and you guys are good to go. Now this is a prime example of why I'm the only one that works on my cars. Whoever tightened these lug nuts, You don't want to remove these two clips right here. You're going to have one hex right in front of you up there. You're also going to have one right up top that you're going to kind of just pop straight out. So. All right guys, so that's basically gonna wrap up this whole project. Again, it only took right around 15 to 20 minutes. Most of it's getting your car jacked up and getting the fender liner back. Really easy to do at home. We have one zip tie that's holding on to the aluminum part right here in the brake line. We're gonna tape this down just to make sure it doesn't move. It's also gonna be locked in by a bolt or a tab up here that the fender liner is gonna cinch it in. And then down here, we also wanna make sure that it's not bunched up. Don't wanna put any extra strain here on the actual uh, connection. We also taped up the harness just a little bit around some of the abrasion points just in case. Again, the car is going to be moving, vibrating, shaking. I don't want anything to start to chew through, so we went ahead and taped these off. So we're going to go ahead, put the fender liner back in, get the wheel back on, and you guys are good to go. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.